Hey there, ladies. How you doing? So I still haven't been canceled yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, answer another lady's question. And hopefully this particular topic today won't get me canceled. But hey, you never know. So this lady's question is, where do I meet people as a plus size woman? And her full message goes, I got out of a really long relationship recently and it was amicable. I'm not hurting or mourning it. It was time for it to be over. I'm in my mid 20s. I have a good job. I have my own money place and I'm in a good place in my life. Unfortunately, I have gained a lot of weight during my relationship. I just got too comfortable. I'm working on losing weight right now. I am aware that people have preferences and that's totally okay. People are allowed to find certain people attractive. But while I work on myself and lose weight, I don't want to completely close myself off from dating. I still want to meet new people and get myself familiarized with dating again since I have not been on a first date in six years. Any tips for a plus sized woman and where I where can I meet men? Also, any advice is welcome to about being a plus size girl in the dating world. This is all new to me. OK, so ladies, 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 since I'm giving advice to women for this particular video, I'm going to be as real with you as possible. So but I'm going to answer the first question, which is like uh, in terms of where you can meet men anywhere. Like online dating's good, Bumble, uh, okay, Cupid. Also, you can do like meeting people in person, going to uh, bars and clubs. Uh, particularly if you're looking for like certain scale types of men, you can go to certain restaurants and just like eat at the bar, stay there for a couple of hours, and if you're dressed right and looking good or whatever, guys will come up to you. Okay, um, I've yet to see any plus size friends of mine have a hard time keeping men away. All right, so that's really the the main answer to that question. Okay, um, now. There's always, this is always a touchy subject in terms of like the weight thing itself because she's, uh, she's saying that, you know, she's working on herself and she's losing weight, but at the same time she's saying, but, you know, I'm also a bigger girl and so I, I you know, I know people will find certain things attractive, this, this, and that. So I'm going to be real with you in terms of the guy side of things, okay? Um, because I'll be honest, like most guys, they're not going to really trip too much if a woman is plus size, has some extra weight in her in terms of the, the aesthetics of things, because most guys, honestly, they, they like, you know, they like the, the shapes. And if the shapes are a little bit bigger, then it just is more, more fun to be had. Okay. But, you know, but keep in mind, even with that said, that men are very much assessing how you are now and how you're going to potentially be in the future as it pertains to uh, the weight that you're at. So we know, for example, if we meet you and you're at a certain weight, nine times out of 10, that weight is going to be the starting point, and it's typically only going to go up as we're with you. Also of note, this woman, I believe she's, she said she's in her mid-20s. When you hit 30, 31, 32, that's when your metabolism is going to like completely change. And I used to be completely unaware of this. Like I was like, no, I'm like, I'm 20 and I'm, you know, 155 pounds and I'm going to stay this way forever. And when I tell you this past year, I, I had blown up to 192 pounds and I spent like three months walking and eating that stuff off to get back down to a respectable, like 165 for my weight and frame and height and stuff like that. Like that was hard. That was hard. But I was like, but part of that was because Growing up to a certain point, I was like, I could eat whatever and be totally fine. And then it, it once I got to my 30s, 31, 32, that's when it started to affect me. Okay. So here's the thing. So because of that, men are looking at where you're at now and seeing where you're going to be. And it's not that we necessarily find you being plus size unattractive. We're looking at how is your potential weight situation going to affect us in the future? Because it's not just about the weight per se for guys, it's about the effects that it has on your body than how it affects us. So for example, you might be at a size now, you're not, you know, you've gained a certain amount of weight, so you may not have faced any issues, okay? But I know from my personal experience, I went out with a woman for six years that I was engaged to at one point and everything was great, but the problem was, you know, as she, as we were in the relationship and she got bigger and bigger, certain things started to happen. She started to uh, have, inconsistent periods where she would be bleeding all the time. Uh, there was pre-diabetes, there was depression, there was uh, times where she would accidentally pass out. There was one time where she was driving someplace and she just passed out in her car. And all this happened because she was getting more and more weight. So then you look, so then the guy's looking at that and like, okay, so like if this becomes a, a major problem, if she has any kind of medical bills, if she has any kind of situation where like she does pass out or she has mood swings or she becomes diabetic, that now affects not just her, but also me. It affects my wallet. It affects our quality of life. And a guy is making assessments about, does he want to deal with that on a long-term scale? Now, in the short term, a guy may be like, you know what, she'll be fun and you know, whatever, I get to touch the parts and be away to this and that. But as we're looking at long-term, 
it's less about you not, it's, it's not about you being attractive or not attractive because most guys will still find you attractive, but they're looking at these other factors that are gonna go into play beyond just the aesthetics part of it that makes a guy wonder, is this person gonna be worth my time in the long term if they're if how they're treating themselves and the way that their health is, is going to affect them, which thereby affects me. So to that end, I would say that it's not that you need to like forget about dating altogether. I would say really focus though more on getting yourself to a healthy place because realistically, if you're healthier, you're gonna feel better about yourself. And then by default of that, you're gonna show guys that you're not you know, feeling insecure some kind some type of way. And then that's gonna rub off and then they're gonna be more likely apt to want to date you in a long-term sense versus a short-term hookup sense, all right? So just for the purposes of the health side of things, I'd say really focus on that. And then again, as you go out into the world, guys are going to hit on you. You go online dating, guys will send you hundreds of tons of messages. It will not be hard to find a guy. The guys will be there. But the more you can come to the table where your health is at a, in a good place to where not only do you feel good about yourself, but by default, you're also looking good to yourself. And when you look good to yourself, it won't be so much of a factor to others. Then that's the best way you can go about that. So hopefully I'll be able to say that in a way that wasn't too insulting. Ladies, if I had somehow insulted you in the course of saying all this stuff about how men are, are processing this stuff, let me know down below and we will talk about it. If you have any questions you want me to answer on one of these shows in the meantime, you can leave a comment down below as well and I'll be sure to answer it, assuming that I don't get canceled for making this video. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.